Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beth. I am a 37 year old attorney living in the DC area with my husband. And for today's video, I am going to film a bit of an anti haul of the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Uh, so I know when this sale comes around, a lot of influencers make content about it, I'm trying to get you to buy a lot. Uh, and hopefully this will be a nice reprieve from that and maybe put into perspective some of the things that you may or may not need. So I'm going to be focusing on the beauty offers uh, because I primarily focus on beauty on this channel and that is where I feel I have the most kind of expertise to share with you. And um, as part of this video uh, so I want to go to the anniversary preview and then the beauty section uh, as part of this video I am going to be comparing um, some other offers or sales that are available uh, I am actually filming this on July 4th um, so some of those sales might be for the 4th of July weekend and maybe um, no longer available by the time you're watching this video, but I just wanted to provide those as examples of the deals that you may get throughout the year and that you don't need to go crazy for a couple weeks in July at Nordstrom. So I am filming this on July 4th, as I said, which is the Monday um, before the sale opens to the first tier, which I think is on Wednesday. Uh, I have a Nordstrom debit card, so I think I can start shopping on the 13th. Um, and I think there are maybe one or two um, other tiers in there as well. And the only reason I mention that is because I'm filming this during the preview period, but I think even during this period, they've added additional items um, from when I first kind of perused it the day that the preview opened. Um, so there may be additional things um, available by the time you are able to actually shop. Okay, so right now it's showing there's 296 items for reference. And I'm not going to talk about every single thing here, just whatever kind of um, leaps out at me. And the first item here is this date night silk scrunchie pack. It's supposed to have a $70 value and it's on sale for $45. I think it's a good idea to invest in some kind of silk or satin scrunchie. And um, if you're not aware, satin is the weave, silk is the material. Um, so you could have something that is silk satin, um, but a lot of times when it's just called satin and it's not silk, then it's probably some kind of polyester, that kind of thing. Uh, but anyway, I do have some of these silk scrunchies and I like them well enough, um, but I don't know that you necessarily need to get the slip brand to get the benefits of a silk scrunchie. I'm not totally convinced of that. Uh, we have another set down here. This is the Sunkissed scrunchie set. It looks like it's the same general composition, just some different colors. Some Orbe, Clinique. Um, one thing that does annoy me, so I'm just kind of filtering by or sorting by featured, so I'm just letting them kind of suggest whatever they want first. Um, these sponsored posts, um, it just annoys me when retailers try to get additional money by um, allowing companies to promote or I guess sponsor their um, offering over others. I mean, Nordstrom isn't alone in doing this, but anyway. Uh, so we have some Revitalash. I think I've had a small size of Revitalash, but I've never been really consistent about using any of these. Um, the Necessaire Body Duo, it's $35, has a $50 value. Um, this looks like it has the eucalyptus body wash and the fragrance-free body lotion. Uh, I've never tried either of those, so if you are a hardcore Necessaire fan, um, I don't think eucalyptus isn't the first scent I would probably go for. We also have this ABH Deluxe Brow Kit. This is $39, has a $68 value. Um, the thing I thought was strange about this is that you have both the... Is it the Brow Wiz and the Brow Definer? And I would think you probably prefer one over the other. If you've never tried ABH Brow products and you want to give them a shot, I guess that makes sense. Um, I don't know if these are full size. They do have the clear brow gel, which I like but 
I don't know, I just thought it was weird that they included two different types of pencils because people generally prefer one over the other. No thank you. Okay. So, um, this one, this is the Aquas Rapid Dry Lease Hair Wrap Towel Set. It's $39, has a $60 value. Okay, so you do get two in here. And I just wanted to pull up a comparison for you. So what I like to use is the Turby Twist. I've tried the, I think, original Aquas hair towel and I didn't like the fit on it. Um, so I have some Turby Twists, which are generally, I think, going to be less expensive. I don't know that this Aquas Rapid Dry material is any better at drying your hair. So yeah, so I would probably recommend at least trying a Turby Twist. Um, you can get two here, it looks like, for $16. Um, and you can see here it's another sponsored um, post so it's just kind of the way things are now I guess but anyway yeah I don't plan to pick that up it looks like you maybe get a white and like this kind of berry shade um, so that would be a no for me uh, this is another product I would recommend staying clear of um, this is the orgasm blush duo it has a $64 value it's on sale or will be on sale for 40 so you're getting each one for 20 effectively when they retail for 32. I would suggest, A, you're probably never gonna go through two orgasm blushes unless you use it every day. And even then, um, it just seems like a lot of duplicative product. So I think the NARS blush, you can get it in a many size it's showing is out of stock but yeah I would say that's probably a better way to spend your money um, especially if you have a lot of makeup in a lot of different colors if you do have a sizable um, makeup collection you've probably come across NARS orgasm at some point or other and kind of know what you think about it but yeah I wouldn't recommend buying two full-size orgasm blushes uh, another sponsored post here. Um, so this is the Dior Addict Lip Set. It's an $84 value for $58. And I think this one here, this is the, I think, Lip Maximizer. I think that's a kind of deluxe size. You get two full-size products. One is the Lip Balm and the other is the Lip Serum. And I don't know, maybe you do want all three of those products. I thought it was interesting that they chose to go with the balm and the serum as opposed to the lip oil. Um, one thing I did want to draw your attention to, so this is $38, which is a lot for a lip balm type product. Um, if you are a Rouge member at Sephora, you could get that for 20% off. Um, but I just wanted to show you that they have a lot of different shade options available. So if you did just want the uh, lip glow and you're not maybe getting as good a value but you're paying less overall, you can actually choose the exact shade that you want. So with these Veluspa candles, with candles generally I just want to make sure that you pay attention to the size. So these are 4.5 ounces each and you get four different scents. I think where these make the most sense is if you're getting, huh, sense, get it. Uh, the most sense is if you're giving them to someone as a gift uh, because that way, you know, there's a good chance maybe that they'll like at least one of these scents. If you're buying them for yourself, I would probably just recommend that you go into store, smell them, figure out what your favorite is. Uh, I'm not sure what the throw on these smaller Velespa candles are. Um, I have really enjoyed this particular scent, which I can never say properly. I think it's French Cad and Lavender. Um, so $32, you get a an 18 ounce candle versus um, 39 for 18 ounce, is that the same? So yeah, so dollar per dollar, I mean, you're getting more options here, but I don't think you're getting a better value, especially if you bought it after the sale at 
Um, so this is probably what I would choose to buy. They even have a 5.5 ounce size for 20, it looks like. So that is my take on these candles. Um, this I just thought was silly because, I mean, the product itself is, is fine. I know a lot of people really love it. Um, I just thought this headband that they include with it is kind of stupid. So it says beauty begins with truth. It's like they ripped something from Moulin Rouge. Um, okay, so these MAC sets, um, generally these MAC brushes in these like kind of limited edition sets are not great. So, you know, just take that into account. I don't think this year's kind of exclusive sets that they've come out with from MAC are as attractive to me at least as the ones from last year. So... I'm not really tempted by that, but I would just maybe exercise caution. I mean, for $42, what are you getting? Mini face brush, mini contour brush, mini angled brush, and mini shadow brush. Yeah, I think, I think you can do better with that much money buying brushes. Um, so I would recommend skipping that. Um, and this is the kind of companion to that set. You get a very kind of basic eyeshadow palette and a mascara and a an eye coal and teddy. Um, so again, if you have any kind of sizable makeup collection, you probably have all of those shades. I think MAC shadows are fine, but I don't think they're anything to totally go crazy over. And that Dior lip set is showing up again because the prior prior one was a sponsored post. Okay, so again with these um, lip sets, so this um, set here, you get Orgasm, Deep Throat, and Fast Lane. And I don't know about you, but these all look pretty similar. And this is kind of another lip balm type product. So it's not going to be kind of totally opaque coverage anyway, uh, but you could just purchase like one shade that you really like and will use up as opposed to a set of three. Um, I think this is currently out of stock, but they do have many sets like this where you can try some different shades. Um, NARS often has really good deals on their like limited edition products, yeah. So <laughs> Sephora also has like paid placement advertising on their website, just, just annoying. So yeah, so I would probably recommend skipping that, especially since they all look so similar. Um, and these types of sets, I guess they make sense if that is your absolute favorite mascara and you know that you will go through those. I mean, I think six months is kind of the max you should keep in mascara, so conceivably you could purchase that and be set for mascara for the year. So it would make sense, but that is not my favorite mascara, so um, it's not really attracted to me. Um, so this is the Pillow Talk Cheeks set. If you don't have either of these and you like these shades, then it might make sense. Um, I do own both of these, and I think I tried them in my... Like last year at the Nordstrom sale, they had a larger Pillow Talk set that had like their um, Pillow Talk palette in it, along with, I think, a lip liner, a lipstick, etc., eyeliner maybe, and a mascara. Um, so I think I did a dedicated video, so if you'd like to see that. Um, and then I've also swatched this Pillow Talk um, wand next to some of the other kind of drugstore options that have come out. I personally prefer the Spotlight um, Beauty Light wand, so... If I were just buying one outright, that is what I would select. Uh, more Fix Plus here, and then this is the lip set. And I do have the lipstick and the lip liner, so it wouldn't make sense for me to purchase this set. Um, I would like to try these Happy Kiss lip balms, but I know that I don't need the lip liner or the lipstick, so... I can always just purchase that by itself. Uh, a lot of Lord Mercy powder here. You get, I think, a full size and a travel size along with the puff. 
So yeah, so just make sure that you know what you will absolutely go through. We have a NARS matte lip set. This, I think, at least has a little bit of variation in it. You get like a kind of nude shade, a mauve shade, and a red. More of a peachy nude, maybe. So, yeah, not something I will be reaching for. But if you buy any of these, just make sure that you like all of the colors. Otherwise, it doesn't really make sense. Um, here's a Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eyeshadow Trio. I'm not a huge fan of, like, eye crayons. So, looks like they have Amethyst, Rose Gold, and Moonlight. I might actually have at least samples of two of those, like Amethyst and Rose Gold, maybe. So, nothing that is too exciting to me. Um, this is a nice product. I like to just put it in a bath. I know some people use it as like a body wash or they use it to shave, that kind of thing. Um, this is supposed to be an $80 value for $52. Um, I would say with something like this, just make sure that you've already tried it and that you like it. Because otherwise you will be <laughs> left holding the bag, so to speak. You will have a lot of product on your hand. Um, so the, let's see, 8.4 ounce is 27. And how much product do you get total here? So you're getting, I think, four times that amount. So again, if you already know that you like it, I know that this product has gone on sale at like Ulta and that kind of thing before. They also have a mini 2.5 ounce for $10.50. So if you haven't been able to try this, maybe it would be worth throwing in a Sephora order um, just to try it. But um, one of these is like one bath's worth for me, so not the most cost effective. Um, speaking of cost effective, these are going to be very small. So just make sure that um, you're aware of that. If you want to spend the $65, you get five mil and a normal um, fragrance sample that you get can be between like 1.5 and two mils. So around three times what you would get as like a free sample so just be aware of that you're getting three of them but each one is like three times the size uh, let's see sigma brushes i mean sigma goes on sale so much on their own website so i would not suggest that this is something you definitely need to rush out and buy uh westman atelier same kind of um, story here just make sure that you like both of those colors um, because you would save money just buying the one shade that you do like, and then you would have maybe a better shot of using it up. Especially something with lip balm, because they're just not as pigmented, so it's not as necessary to really kind of dial in on the color that you like. Uh, so that's what this is. So $38 is quite high. At least they did give you kind of a more like bright option and a more neutral option but if you would prefer one of these maybe over Nana and Popsicle which is that one oh it says pipsqueak down here so that must be a typo right there so it would be this one and that one would be the two shades that you get. Yeah, I like Jim Lone, but personally I would not spend that much on body slash hand wash. Um, this is a pretty but pretty basic um, color story from Bobbi Brown. And I would just, you know, take this $203 value with a grain of salt because I think any palette, eyeshadow palette that you buy is going to have kind of a similar value, quote unquote, because they're usually, I think, comparing it to what a single eyeshadow will cost you, and those are generally not huge values by themselves. We have the uh, L'Occitane Shea Hand and Body Cream. I really like their hand cream, but I'm not 
I don't think I've tried that specific body cream from them. Um, I would probably just hold off and just buy the hand cream by itself. So, there's the foot cream. So 5.2 ounces is $30. And then you're basically spending another 19 for that body cream. So the body cream is 6.9 and yeah, the hand cream is about 5.1. They say it's a $73 value. So again, just make sure you like both products if you're spending that much. Uh, face base, I know a lot of people like this, but if you're like me and you just like to try a lot of different things, um, you probably won't use all of that up. Um, some more Velispa candles. This one I think is a little bit more of a fall scent collection because we have that fig and we have the spiced pumpkin latte. And these are 2.5 each. So these are going to be definitely on the smaller side. So again, just make sure that you know that. All right, that is it for page one. Page two, um, for this, I like the Lancome Bifacil, but I would just recommend getting the Sephora um, waterproof makeup remover. So you can get the 6.76 ounce size, 200 mil for $16. So. Um, Value-wise, I think that's a much better buy, and um, I regularly wear um, the Tarte waterproof mascara, so that does just fine with it. So I think, for me at least, it is definitely effective enough. Um, for this one, it looks like you're getting two of those, like 6.7 ounce size plus a 1.7 travel size, um, but still, you could probably purchase, I don't know, like four of these. For that price. All right, so this I would say don't waste your money at all. I have it and I don't think it does anything. Um, so even at $64, so like a like $35 savings, I don't think it's worth it. Um, I know I talked about it. It went on sale at Ulta during one of their 21 Days of Beauty and I talked about it. So I will link that video for you if you'd like to see more about it. But yeah, I would recommend skipping that altogether. Um, we have another L'Occitane Vanilla Hand and Body Cream. I haven't tried their vanilla scent. Um, this I'm kind of tempted by, to be honest. $50 for six votives that are maybe two ounces each. I don't know that it says specifically what the size is. Um, one thing I did want to show you, though, Apotheque. Is that how you say it? So they do have small, um, kind of like sample sizes. Mini tin candles, I think that's it. Okay, um, so these are really cute too because they have lids. Um, burn time about 15 hours with a two ounce fill. So these might be 2.5 ounce maybe. Um, but yeah, for $10, which, you know, if you bought all six, that would be a little bit more expensive, but I think they do have all six of these. So if you were only interested in maybe a couple of these, maybe just try these out, um, to see if you like them. Uh, I still recommend trying to smell them in store if you can. Uh, this Hourglass palette, um, I think once upon a time they would let you like customize a three pan palette like this, but I don't know that they have that um, capability anymore. Um, this one you get dim light, diffused heat, and luminous bronze light. Um, if you have collected a lot of hourglass powders, there's a good chance that you already have these, especially if you've purchased like their holiday palettes. Um, I like the size of these pans better than the holiday palettes because I find that they're just a little bit easier to get a brush into, especially with like the bronze type shades, that kind of thing, even the blush shades really. 
Um, one thing, again, you may want to consider is that Hourglass does sell a lot of mini sizes. Um, so if those three shades from Hourglass happen to be your favorites and you want to have like a really easy travel version, then that might be great for you. But if you just wanted maybe a couple, um, so this dim light mini that is $26, it looks like that is 0.11 ounces. And that is, I guess maybe half the size. I think these smaller pans are a little bit easier when they're by themselves as opposed to being in a pan of six or a palette of six. So yeah, just something to consider. I mean, if you don't have any hourglass powders and those are the ones that you would want to put together, then great. Um, this seems very expensive to me again, <laughs> $48. Um, three in one wash. I think this is a liter though. So that is a lot of product that you're getting. It's a black tea scent. I haven't tried this Pura diffuser. Yeah, another candle set here. I think the candles are what is really the most exciting about this beauty section. These are three wick tins. Okay, so for the Jo Malone set, again, if you have a lot of Jo Malone fragrances, this seems to be kind of some of their most popular ones. So we have English Pear and Freesia, Wood Sage and Sea Salt, Peony and Blush Suede. I don't care for Peony and Blush Suede all that much, to be honest. I know Nectarine, Blossom, and Honey is really popular. Um, I actually enjoy the Mimosa and Cardamom a bit. Um, I don't hear many people talking about it, um, but I have their smaller kind of full size of that. I haven't tried this Nest candle, but Nest does make really beautiful candles. More boy smells. $72 for three travel sprays. I mean, again, just maybe make sure that you like all of those. Hourglass, Veil, and Powder. I have the full size of the powder and I bought it because I was enjoying the kind of mini or deluxe sample size and then I bought the full size and I kind of stopped using it. So um, I do like the design of this loose powder though. Uh, the Capri Blue diffuser, I know a lot of people love that one. Um, Olaplex is another thing that I think you can find on sale pretty frequently. This has their number three, their number four, and their number five. So kind of the original like at home hair perfecter and then the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I do like the shampoo and conditioner a lot, but like I said, I don't know, unless that's just your favorite, how big are these? Uh, 8.5 ounces. So I just don't know that I'd want to spend $100 on Olaplex at one time. This fresh set, I enjoyed their um, their rose mask before, especially like before taking a bath, but usually I just wait until I get like a sample or something. I don't know that I've ever actually bought it. Uh, the Alterna Shampoo and Conditioner, I think that is currently on sale at Ulta, which again might be um, no longer on sale by the time you are watching this. So $46.75 for 16.5 ounces, which is the same as what these are. Um, so if you only use one or the other, or if you don't want the CC cream, um, just make sure that you will actually use up everything that you're buying. Uh, so with the Nest diffusers, I'm kind of ambivalent about diffusers generally because I feel like they're always super strong when you first buy them, and then by the end, they're kind of... Um, barely scented. 
Um, these nest ones, um, I had a holiday nest diffuser and it did pretty well in terms of, you know, actually using up all the liquid. Um, this is their bamboo and grapefruit scents. Um, I don't know that I've smelled bamboo. I like grapefruit, but I don't know. Another diffuser set here. Um, here we have the Chloe perfume and travel spray. As far as like a set of fragrances, that's what makes the most sense to me. Having like a big and a small doesn't really make as much sense. Um, so some Jo Malone candles. I think this is the peony and blush suede. Yeah. And also lime, basil, and mandarin. Like I've said, I'm not a huge fan of the peony blush suede. Yeah, like this Chloe set, it's the same fragrance, which I thought it was interesting that they just have the same Chloe fragrance in multiple forms. Um, but I think this is like a, yeah, this is a body lotion and they say this is a fragrance spray. To me, it just looks like a little kind of dabber, like you get as a deluxe sample sometimes, especially at Sephora. I'd be very surprised if that is a spray. So one thing you can do with things like that if you don't, just want to collect them like I do, um, you can just buy like an empty atomizer from Amazon and basically pour it into there because it's just like a little top that you pop off. So it's not going to be too difficult to actually just pour it in. Uh, let's see. Fragrance. Yeah. I mean, they have ones like this. There's whole slew of different options. These look a lot like the scent bird type. So you can pick whatever you like. Uh, all right. So this I'm kind of tempted by, but I don't think I got great reviews. Um, I have the new face mini, which we'll talk about in a minute, but I'd like to have the kind of more targeted application for around the eyes and the mouth. But like I said, it didn't get great reviews, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have very many reviews, but like one and a half stars, basically. Um, so yeah, so I think I'll skip on that. I mean, I think new face devices are again, something that goes on sale pretty frequently. Uh, the single pass ceramic curling iron. Um, I personally like the, I forget what they're called, but the ones where you can like swap out the attachment. Okay. The convertible collection. And um, it looks like this should be on sale through July 7th, which is after this uh, sale starts. Um, so yeah, I like this because then you can just buy another attachment instead of another entire curling um, iron. This is the 1.25 inch, which they have in the clip here. So that would be 50 plus 60. So around the same price. So that would be my, um, my suggestion, but I don't know if this one does anything that's unique to it. Uh, this I think will probably be a top seller. Wouldn't be surprised if this sells out because I know a lot of people love this fragrance and you know, it has both the perfume and the candle. Uh, I have purchased a replica candle, but I haven't burnt it yet. So I can't really speak to the performance. Um, this is another collection of Jo Malone colognes. And this one has two of the cologne intense um, scents. So that is why it is a little bit more expensive. Um, and I was surprised that they kind of classify it as a like men's collection because I think a lot of Jo Malone scents are kind of unisex. Um, so for example, this one also has Woods Agency salt. And, um, it also has myrrh and tonka, which I own and I wear. So I don't think it's something that is exclusive to men. Um, I probably have a sample of lime, basil, and mandarin. I'd be interested in smelling these two, um, the silver birch and lavender and the cypress and grapevine. Um, but I wouldn't spend like a hundred dollars just to be able to smell it. 
Um, okay. So for this um, Westman Atelier set, one thing I just wanted to draw your attention to is that they do have some minis now. So I think these are both full size, but if you just wanted to maybe try out the formula, um, I've looked up these mini highlight sticks. So they have three different shades here, Lit, Nectar, and Brulee. Um, in this one, you are getting Nectar, which is that kind of middle color. I would probably want Lit anyway, um, which wouldn't make this maybe a good option for me. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they eventually come out with minis of the blush sticks as well. Um, so they do have this mini set, which I've looked at. So this one you can get either Lit, Petal, and Biscuit, or you can get Truffle, Nectar, and Doo Doo. And um, the blush in here looks like it is um, Chouchette. So it's not the same, but as far as what you get in this set, I think Lit, Petal, and like this Biscuit contour would be what I would most like to try. And this one has two highlighters, it looks like, like the super loaded tinted highlighter in Peau de Soleil, which again would probably be too dark for me. I think that's what this is. Yeah, so this one down here, so I think that would definitely be too light for me, or too dark rather. So yeah, so this is gonna be a pass for me, but if those shades work for you and um, you don't have them, then maybe that would be worth checking out. The Chantecaille Mascara. I don't know if they'll do this um, this year because I think they've sold their company, but they used to have like a 30% off Chantecaille sale every July at some point, I think, because the founder's birthday was in July. So they would have like a 30% off sale for her. Um, or in her honor, I guess. So I don't know if they'll do that. If you've never tried, again, this mascara, if it's not your holy grail, then um, maybe just hold off and buy one at 30% off as opposed to getting two for 100. Okay, so this um, Simple Human Mirror, this is another thing where um, I have an alternative to share with you. So I showed you this product in a video not too long ago, um, but this I prefer for a couple of reasons. Um, it's more expensive, but you can get, I think, 20% off using the code TOTI, so that'll bring it down to 200, which is like the same as the like regular price of the Simple Human. Um, but what I like about this is that you have two different like reflections so you have like the one times like natural yeah one magnification that would be the right word one times and five times and this you just get five times um i think it does have different lighting intensities it says it has a candlelight setting i don't know if that changes the temperature or just the the light level this is eight inches. It says it simulates natural sunlight. Um, this is cordless. So if that is a big selling point to you, just note that this one is not, um, but it does have different color temperature options. Okay, so this one you have the option of cool, blend, and warm, and then you also have these different um, intensity levels from, I guess, 10% to 100%. Um, one thing I like about this, so this mirror kind of um, swivels around, so that's where you get the one and the five times magnification. Um, you can also remove the mirror altogether and just use it like as a ring light. And um, they do have this feature where you can Put your phone in the middle so if you are like a content creator or you want to film TikToks or whatever um, I really like that um, feature um, you can see it's been endorsed by Kim Kardashian and makeup by Mario um, so yeah so I like this one um, it also has the ability to charge your phone because it has like this USB port in the back and um, it is something that you have to plug in. 
Um, it's at a good height though, like I'm quite tall and I find that it's at a good level for me to be able to use it without trying to prop it up on anything. Uh, the only thing I would say, make sure that if you do want even greater magnification that you purchase the 10 times mirror at the same time because I think free shipping is on $99. So that will just um, magnetically attach to the like one times mirror. Um, so yeah, so that would be my um, recommendation. Um, I like being able to see things at their normal like resolution, but again, it does have to be plugged in. So maybe it would not be right for you where you wanna have it. Uh, these slip pillowcases, so I use ones from Brooklinen. Um, this isn't sponsored um, or anything like that. I know they do sponsor a lot of people. Um, but I have these silk pillowcases in like the celestial print. I can find them. So these are the queen size. So I think that's your standard size. And each one would be about like 60 some dollars. Um, so these are currently on sale, but even at full price, they are um, about the same price as the sale price for the slip, if that makes sense. Um, so I really like these ones. Um, I just, you know, put them in the washing machine on the gentle cycle and then hang dry. Um, I think these have an envelope closure instead of a zippered closure. So if that is something that you are concerned about. Um, but yeah, you definitely don't need to purchase slip to be able to get um, silk pillowcases. And if you want something that has, I don't know, a fun print to it. Um, looks like they have some, <laughs> some interesting limited edition prints as well and colors blush carbon and then just your standard like off-white um, so yeah so just something again for you to consider uh, with this diptyque set I don't think I would use a hair mist much if at all so you know just make sure that you're using everything I think we already talked about that Chloe set. Um, so this is the mini new face and this is what I have. I think $135 is a good price point um, to kind of get into a microcurrent device. Um, the only thing about the full size, which is a lot more expensive, you can um, swap out the attachment. Um, so this one has that kind of more targeted option. Um, with the mini is just fixed. Um, this is actually a picture of the full size I think at one point they had the like main product shot be the full size as well, but it looks like they fixed that. Um, but yeah, the mini doesn't come with a charging cradle, but I, um, I've i used mine many times without it having to be charged. So it's not like something you have to charge um, every time you use it, that kind of thing. More slip perfume. Okay, so this is another mirror uh, and I I think I recall, is it Risa Does Makeup and Miss Gold Girl both talking about this mirror? Um, this one has the benefit of being something that you could travel with um, because it kind of collapses flat. Um, you can also um, attach your phone to it or a mirror. Um, this one I don't think has any color differences. So the full, like, back part of the mirror might be three times magnification. Um, you can use it without plugging it in because it has a battery. And then, yeah, it has the 10 times mirror. I think that's what this is. And that comes with it. So again, like you'd be paying more for the Ilios mirror. Um, it's just, I guess, a matter of preference. I have like a mini Ricky mirror that almost gets too bright. So I don't think there would be any issue with that not being bright enough. Um, and there's a white and a rose gold. I think I prefer the white. Um, I don't need a, another travel mirror, especially one that expensive. Uh, but if you were looking for one that had that kind of dual 
um, functionality, maybe that would be a good one to look at. Um, fragrance. Um, this I don't recommend, the PMD. Um, I know I've seen the PMDs on sale, and they frequently show up in like subscription boxes. Yeah, so that's the Rose Quartz. So, you know, still a little bit more expensive right now at Sephora, but not so much different that if you want to wait and pick it up later, maybe you can do that. Um, this is the regular one without the kind of Rose Quartz. Um, that's 74. I think that will show up in this um, Nordstrom sale as well. Um, so we have more sl uh, slip pillowcases. These are, again, the standard queen size and caramel. Uh, black orchid. Um, this I wanted to mention. Um, I I purchased one of these from the fsastore.com website. Um, I don't know that they currently have them on there, but um, if you do purchase this and you have an FSA account, which is where you can set aside money pre-tax and then use it on like approved healthcare expenses, the acne devices like this one are included in that. So if you do purchase it, just make sure to to submit it for reimbursement. I've used it a few times. Um, I haven't, it hasn't been life-changing for me. Um, I know Khaki from Khaki Reviews Beauty really likes it and speaks highly of it, but yeah, I'm, <laughs> I don't regret purchasing it because I was able to use those um, pre-tax dollars that are like use or lose basically. Um, so I don't regret buying it, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay, so we have the Clarence Turtle I Loved. I know some people really love that. The Nectarine Blossom and Honey fragrance. PMD, these scare me a bit. And again, I think that's something that they have different options that go on sale. So again, not something that you necessarily need to buy here. Uh, the steamer, I would not recommend spending $140 um, on a steamer. I got the Vanity Planet one. Um, I guess this one comes with a moisturizer, but even so. Yeah, I don't really use it that much, so I don't know. Maybe maybe try a less expensive one to see if you really enjoy steaming before you kind of go in. Uh, this Shiseido, I think this might be two full sizes and they just want you to reuse the cap, maybe. This, I actually got um, basically in PR through Influencer, and um, I just wanted to point out that as far as the ingredients go, um, denatured alcohol is the second ingredient. And as someone who has like dry, somewhat sensitive skin, that's kind of a big no-no for me. Um, has fragrance, has linalool. So um, again, maybe just make sure that you absolutely love a product before you kind of invest in these value packs effectively. Uh, Peony and Blush Suede again. Um, so this is the king size of the slip pillowcases. And pretty sure Brooklyn and has king size as well. Maybe not available in all of the shades, but anyway, yeah, they do have that option if you have king size pillows. Uh, okay, so this is just like combination of two of those like mini dabbers that you get as deluxe samples um, for $20. I mean, like I said, you could pour them into another atomizer if you wanted. Um, I like to collect these through like gifts with purchase and that kind of thing, but I don't, I try not to like spend money on things like that. So um, just make sure that you know what you're getting. I always like the Amber or the um, Aaron kind of design that they put on like with their caps and their bottles and everything. I thought it was interesting that they have two travel sprays and one full size. So this for 220, you are getting one, two, three, eight, I think if I'm counting correctly. Um, and those are 0.37 ounces. So I think each of those is maybe 
seven times like a normal little deluxe sample if I'm doing my math correctly so not a bad size but that is quite a hefty price tag I know um, Maison Francis uh, Kirk de Jan is a really expensive house but anyway okay one thing about this Trish McAvoy set that I noted was that they have different shade options like deep medium and light I'm guessing that is because it has it says liquid face color finishing powder I'm not sure what is changing through the three sets uh, I think the eyeshadows are staying the same though yeah, it looks like those two products, these tubes are maybe changing. I'm not sure what those are. But I don't know. It seems like kind of a missed opportunity because I would think a deeper skin tone they could maybe do with some deeper shadows, especially that kind of off-white and light pink color. Um, so, again, just make sure that everything in a set will work for you. Another Maison fragrance set. This to me makes a little bit more sense having two gimme brows and one pencil because I think more people will combine a pencil with a brow gel than like two different types of pencil. Um, they only have some of the shades though, at least now. And I think I wear like number one in the gimme brow. So that's not something that would work for me. Um, and I think Gimme Brow also goes on sale pretty frequently. Uh, again, you get the bargain price of $347 with a $511 value. So I, I haven't smelled this. I don't know um, if I like it or not, but I think it is the same scent, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so they're saying you get a travel size one ounce and a full size 2.5 ounce, and a one ounce bottle is not it's not uncommon for that to be like the lower, like full size of a brand. Um, someone suggested that maybe you could like keep one and give one to a friend as a gift. And it looks like they are kind of individually packaged. So that might be kind of a viable option if you know someone would appreciate that kind of um, fragrance or that kind of gift. Um, so Stila Liquid Liner. Again, if you know that's your favorite and you go through it. I feel like Briogeo is another brand that you can find on sale pretty frequently. Yeah, and same thing with Shantika here. Like, if you haven't tried this mask before, maybe just get one and buy it at a discount as opposed to trying to get the two pack. Um, I don't think this is a bad set if you know that you like all of these. Um, like, I do like the waterproof eye makeup remover. Wasn't too impressed with the mascara. I haven't tried the liner. I'm not a big liquid eyeliner person anyway, but if you do like both of those, then that might be a good set to pick up. This is kind of cute. I think this is uh, Shea Mitchell's brand. Um, I like that it has like a removable mirror and like a little brush um, section, but I don't need any more makeup bags. more candles. This I'm kind of tempted by for $30. Again, these are pretty small, so they're 2.5 ounces each, um, but they have some interesting kind of summery scents. Um, so lemon mire and mint, purple basil and tomato tarragon, and my husband really loves tomato scents. Um, I just don't know for like a votive, like if you're in a bathroom or something and you're getting kind of a bathroom type scent, you know, that can maybe fill the space, but if you want to put it in a bigger area like a kitchen, because it's more of a kitchen scent, I'm just not sure how strong those are. Um, like diptyque candles that are that size have a pretty good throw, pretty strong. Uh, I'm very curious about this Earl Grey Bitters candle. Again, I don't know if I would want that as a bathroom scent, maybe. 
I mean, these have more of a bathroom look to them. But again, they're just little votives, so just make sure. This one has grapefruit, ocean mist, and sea salt, and bamboo. So they definitely have options that are more summery. I know people talk about the Nordstrom sale as being like fall, like pre-fall basically, but they do have options that are more seasonal for what, uh, for when they're actually on sale. Uh, so for this Pathology Peel, um, $37 for a three pack. Um, I would say maybe just pick up one of these. They tend to be like in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. In fact, I don't know if there's one on sale now. Yeah, so you can get, I think, one for $14. So if you've never tried it before, maybe just pick up one when you can find it on sale. The thing I don't like about this particular foot peel, I've tried a lot of ones, a lot of different brands. Um, this one, the, the liquid actually comes in separate packets that you pour into the booties instead of having like a pre-filled booty that you cut the top off. So that's not necessarily my favorite. It's just, is more of a hassle. So um, just maybe consider that. I do like this face cleanser, but I think I have one that I still haven't like gotten into. So, um, okay, so new face. So I guess quickly before I get to new face, the herbivore scrub, um, I literally just finished the scrub. I haven't tried the, I think it's a coconut soak and like a bath salt little jar. Um, I like it, but I think I like the whey one um, better. So that is where I would um, put my money. Okay, so for this new face, you're getting, it looks like it's a really good deal, right? Because it's basically half off. Um, but these are each 3.3 ounces. So you're getting like a total of 6.6. Um, and they do sell a larger, a larger pump um, style, which I prefer. Um, so that is 59 for 10 ounces. So you're spending more out of pocket immediately, but you're getting more product. Um, and as far as price per ounce goes, it's basically the same. So it's $5.9 per ounce for the 10 ounce. Um, versus the sale price, it's like 5.91. So you're actually spending, I think, a little bit more. Um, so again, I, I actually prefer the pump because I find it's easier to dispense that way while I'm using the device. Um, but even though it's half off, like value maybe isn't as good as it seems. Um, two grapefruit um, candles there. Um, again, this is another PMD, so 66. Again, like what I showed you on the Sephora website might not be quite as good of a deal, but I think it's still in the neighborhood where if you need to kind of space out your purchases, you don't have to worry that you'll never be able to find something like that again. Uh, and this light stem, by the way, for wrinkles, I don't think this one would be covered by the FSA dollars. So um, just be careful about that if you were interested in it. Another PMD. And I think that's it. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys found this um, helpful in deciding whether anything is worth your while picking up in the Nordstrom sale. Um, let me know if you do plan to shop and what you plan to pick up. So even if you do plan to shop, I hope this um, video provided a little bit of perspective in what can be a very kind of hyped up um, sales period. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and I will talk to you soon. Bye.